Today, we're diving deep into the world of the hit series Yellowstone and discussing a character whose absence has left fans puzzled, Lee Dutton, portrayed by Dave Annable. But before we delve into that mystery, let's talk about the creative genius behind our favorite shows and the impact of Yellowstone on the television landscape. Writer and director Taylor Sheridan has become a powerhouse in the world of television. From Sylvester Stallone's Tulsa King gearing up for season 2 to Jeremy Renner's Mayor of Kingstown recently renewed for season 3, the man is on fire. And let's not forget about David Oyelowo's Lawman, Base Reeves, which promises an anthology series celebrating famous lawmen throughout history. But the true crown jewel of Sheridan's television empire is Yellowstone. Led by the legendary Kevin Costner, this hit cable series is coming to a close with season 5 after some behind-the-scenes drama. However, there's a silver lining as Matthew McConaughey is set to lead a Yellowstone spin-off. The show's impact on the industry is undeniable, but it's not without its share of mysteries. In the sprawling world of Yellowstone, it's easy to get caught up in the drama, but one character has been unjustly forgotten, Lee Dutton, played by Dave Annable. With spin-off prequels like 1883 and 1923 introducing new Duttons to the family tree, it's no wonder that Lee has faded into the background. His limited presence in the series, coupled with the fierce battles for center stage among his siblings Case, Beth, and adoptive brother Jamie, led to his character's quiet exit. Lee's character was a unique one in the Dutton family. He was the firstborn and the only one truly passionate about the land and cattle, valuing them for more than just their power. However, his time on the show was destined to be short-lived, and his memory suffered the same fate. Lee's story took a tragic turn near the end of Daybreak, the extended pilot episode. As a livestock agent, he met his untimely end at the hands of Robert Long during a cattle dispute on the border of the Dutton Ranch and the Broken Rock Indian Reservation. This event triggered a chain reaction of events, with Case retaliating by killing his brother-in-law in, in self-defense, ultimately causing more problems than Lee's death had solved. Ironically, Lee's demise served as the catalyst for the entire series, as the Duttons waged war against all encroaching forces on their ancestral land. Yet, as the seasons progressed, Lee's memory was all but forgotten. After his death, it was natural for Dave Annable's character to be written off the series, given that Yellowstone isn't known for bringing characters back from the dead. For a while, his only presence was through a photograph cameo in season 2's ironically titled Resurrection Day. However, Lee did make a few appearances through flashbacks to the 90s, when Costner's John Dutton looked strikingly like Josh Lucas. These flashbacks, though scarce, kept Lee's character alive, but never really explored his story. In the present-day storyline, Lee's death faded into the background, overshadowed by John Dutton's determination to preserve the land. His fight seemed to be fueled by a mysterious promise to his father rather than the memory of his son. In a miraculous turn of events, Lee remains the only Dutton child who has met a tragic end, despite previous attempts on other family members' lives. It's understandable that the death of a son and a brother is a painful subject to dwell on. John's grief led him to focus on preserving the land rather than grieving for his lost child. But what began as a relatable coping mechanism slowly evolved into something less justifiable as time passed. As Yellowstone continued to delve into the Dutton's childhood through flashbacks, Lee's character was gradually left behind. Even in family photos, he was conspicuously absent, unintentionally casting a shadow over the Dutton's history. It almost seemed as though Taylor Sheridan had entirely forgotten about Lee's existence. In many ways, Yellowstone seemed to have developed Rip Wheeler, played by Cole Hauser, into Lee's replacement, particularly in recent seasons. John Dutton passed on Lee's old cabin to Rip, and his love for his new son-in-law rivaled that of his own children. Flashbacks in Season 5 painted a picture of John helping Rip hide the body of a ranch hand he had accidentally killed, solidifying their bond as father and son. All signs pointed to Rip being the rightful successor to John's cattle empire, overshadowing Lee's legacy. But then, something incredible happened. After nearly two seasons with hardly a mention of Lee, the final episode of Season 4, titled Grass on the Streets and Weeds on the Rooftops, did the unthinkable, it brought Lee back, in a way. As Case embarked on a vision quest ahead of season 5, he saw a vision of his long-dead brother, and this Lee wasn't exactly thrilled to see him. Lee confronted Case about forgetting him, and his appearance served more as a warning than a joyous reunion. 
Dave Annable's return was a delightful surprise for fans and brought the series full circle as Lee and Case locked eyes for the first time since the pilot episode. It's a fascinating development heading into the fifth and final season, leaving room for speculation about what this reunion means for the future of the show. Even if Lee's character isn't further explored, it's heartening to see Taylor Sheridan respond to fan concerns and bring him back into the narrative. While it's unlikely that we'll see Dave Annable return as Lee in the future, it's reassuring to know that Yellowstone was willing to delve deeper into his character after years of wondering why he seemed forgotten. In Season 5, following the death of John Dutton's latest grandson, the Patriarch reflects on his grief over Lee's loss, revealing that he still blames himself to this day. As we eagerly await the final episodes, it's clear that fan interest in the series remains unwavering, even with Lee's absence for much of the show's run. Despite his unceremonious exit from Yellowstone, Dave Annable has continued to embrace the cowboy persona, or at least a wannabe cowboy, in other neo-western projects. In 2021, he took on the role of Dan Miller in The CW's Walker, a modern reimagining of the original Chuck Norris-helmed Walker, Texas Ranger, which drew inspiration from Yellowstone. Annable's 12-episode stint in the midst of a Hatfield and McCoy-type family feud solidified his place in the Western legacy. Alternatively, in 2023, Annable reunited with Taylor Sheridan for the espionage thriller series Special Ops, Lioness, signaling a shift away from the Western genre. Sheridan's latest venture is more akin to his work on the action thriller Without Remorse. Following his character's demise in Sheridan's flagship series, Annable achieved main cast status in this latest television spectacle, playing Neil, the surgeon husband of Zoe Saldana's lead character and government agent, Joe. It's a role that brings Annable full circle since his days on Yellowstone. And there you have it, folks. The enigmatic tale of Lee Dutton's early departure from Yellowstone and his surprising return. Dave Annable's journey from cowboy to espionage thriller star. As we anticipate the epic conclusion of Yellowstone, we can't help but wonder what other surprises Taylor Sheridan has in store for us. If you're as excited as we are about the future of Yellowstone and Dave Annable's career, be sure to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to ring that bell icon so you never miss an update from us. Stay tuned for more thrilling content and keep the discussion alive in the comments below. We love hearing your thoughts and theories. And, as always, join our Discord group and follow us on social media for the latest updates. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Yellowstone's mysteries, and we'll see you next time on the Yellowstone channel.